Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Evanon the Black Fortress. When we left off last time, we got a new quest. So we have a new area we can go to, which, let's take a look at uh, Camaria in the Farlands, which is very suspicious, but potentially kind of cool. I'm, I'm ex interested to see what's going to happen there. Um, before we do that, though, okay, so off screen, I did try, try our portal back to the Kva, and we can still go there. So... That's a load off my mind because I do want to follow up on these other boss side quests we got, but not necessarily right now. What I do want to do right now is I want to go into the dungeons and I want to see if we can find Quinnell. So let's try it out. We're going to stick with... I have a feeling these, this is just going to be my go-to team. Alright, let's go for it. Open up. Okay, and looking at the big map, where did I want to go? Where were the places that I could not open before? Also, I kind of want to talk to I... Mora. Just because. See if there's anything new to be said. We did come back from the, the Kva and everything. Alright, so... Mm, nothing new. All right. Yep, go find Canal. Will do. So, once again then, where do we think he is? What's this room over here that I've not opened up yet? That could be interesting. Okay, so. It's probably something that I already checked at some point and there's a reason why I can't go down there, but it's been a while since I mucked around in these dungeons, so I don't remember. We'll see if the team can get here without trouble. May as well watch him go. There you all are. Oh yeah, that's this guy. He's just stuck. Gonna leave you there, Lexrum. Enjoy. Right then, so what is keeping us out of here? Because I don't have a lock and it's too complicated to pick. Dang it! Where was... where were the regular cells? They're like over here, right? Down this way? That seems familiar. Can't just click over here? Go through this door. Okay. No, I couldn't get through here either, could I? Dang it! Where is this guy? And I opened all these. Not this one. Not this either, eh? I'm feeling like I went in here before, didn't I? We looted that corpse. And I can't get in here. Well, who's in here? I saw a guy just a second ago. Okay. There's a prisoner sitting on a chair. Oh, is this him? I can't just go into his cell. I gotta convince him to come out. Okay. And I could have done this before. I just... Oh my gosh. All right. Sitting on a chair in this cell, his back against the wall. He's very thin and pale. He's been here for months, if not years. He must know that you're staring in at him, but he ignores you. Uh, you all right there, buddy? The prisoner doesn't say anything. Maybe repeated readings of his mind have left him a little damaged. All right. So I have a feeling. You're my guy, Canal, right? At first, the man is silent. Then his head slowly turns towards you. I... you know me? You came for me? His voice is raspy with disuse. None have come for me for a while. What do you want? Um, your family wants you back. Well, 
let's take the opportunity to talk a bit. So, why are you held here? Since you know my name, you must know what I did. My guilt is known. I have been punished. I am no more threat to Avedon. Yeah, so you can leave. Why don't you say what you did? Well, maybe he's, like, ashamed of it, or maybe he's scared to. Like, he got punished really bad for it, so perhaps he just doesn't want to dwell on unpleasant memories. He looks at you briefly. Then he faces the back wall. I repeat, my crime is part of my penance. I am of a noble family. A hand of Avedon was making decisions that took our lands for the benefit of another family. To save our fortunes, I and three cousins abducted that hand and killed him. Oh, wow. That seems pretty serious, yeah. So, why was this hand acting against you? I imagine the other family convinced him that it was for the good of the pact, and removed his doubts with a large sack of coins. Mmm, so you think that... You think that Avedon is easily bribed? What happened to your cousins? Avedon soon deduced what happened and sent hands after us. We were not experienced assassins, after all. One cousin was killed when fleeing the hands. Another was brought to Avedon and showed insufficient remorse. He was executed. Ah, and then your penalty? It is paid. They looked through my thoughts and found all they needed. They know I will never act against them again. And yet, how can I return? The shame, the shame. Well, I mean, yeah, you did. I don't know, you, they looked through his thoughts and they decided it's okay to let him go, but his thoughts are that the hands of Abaddon can be bribed. We really okay with that, guys? Not that I want him to be tortured more or anything, but, I mean, that's kind of a... Nasty thing to have out there against Avedon. Uh, another question. So, you need anything in there? I am safe. The door stayed locked, protecting me from the wretches and pests. I am content to remain. Why are you held here? It's not. Since you know my name, you must know what I did. My guilt is no- Oh, we already went through this. Okay, so, we, went we did that. Another question. Look, your family wants you out of here, okay? I know. And yet I cannot. I cannot favor this cell. I long for Kellum Dariel. And yet, how can I face them? Well, I mean, you got to. That's... It's rough, but that's consequences, man. You gotta move on with your life. You gotta go and you face the unpleasant fallout of bad decisions that you made, mistakes you made in the past, and then you move forward. Why can't you return? Our foolish plan killed two of our family. Shamed our family. Probably cost us great wealth and fame. Our rash actions did great harm. I can never let them see me like this. One day, I will leave, when I determine where I can go, but I can never go home. I mean... Okay, I mean, I get it, things would be really, really bad, and... I don't know. Maybe he couldn't go home, but it seems like... If he could learn from this and go back, he could at least... I don't know. He can be a cautionary tale to others. Um, I don't like just giving up. But I understand that it could be really complicated for him to go home. Uh, but is, his family's asking him for him back. <laughs> You're being forced to leave. No, but yeah, so since they want you home, you staying away is just more punishment for them. It sounds like they would just rather have you back more than they are worried about any shame you've brought on them. So, so you say, but you do not understand them or us. It's not your affair. Well, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think they want you back to just taunt you? Or kill you or something? Hmm. I don't want to tell him to just stay here. I almost want to tell him, well, out you go. But, I mean, he's allowed to stay if he wants, right? I'm a hand of Avedon, I have a lot of power, I have a responsibility to use it properly. And lying to this guy is, even if it's for a good purpose, to get him out of here, it, it is a misuse of that power. So, fine, stay here. He nods. At last, someone understands me. I am a noble of the Kellum, and I will stay here until I am ready to go. Please leave me. That sucks. That's not really how I wanted this to play out. Well, I mean, I can just go tell Fabron. Okay, yeah. He can be re Maybe we can bring his friend down here. But at least we found the guy and talked to him, so we can confirm. Look, he's not being held. He can totally leave. He just does not want to. So, I don't know what you want me to do about that. Maybe you can talk some sense into him. 
No, it's not. Really? Get over here. Oh, it's because of the door. Just, just open it. You can go through. It's fine. We gotta remember where this other guy is. He should be marked on the map. I can't imagine. It's gonna be hard. Alright. Hmm. He's not really marked. Where's he gonna be? Let's just wander around and keep an eye out on things. This is still very interesting. Hmm. Anyhow. Can't do anything with it now, so we'll continue moving. What? You can use my help? You need some help? No, not yet. Very well. He could be downstairs. Is he in the dining hall? Obviously, I don't really remember. We'll find him. Okay, so, Abby. I spoke to Tartum. He's not the guy selling uh, arms to wretches. He was kind of mad that you said he was. So, I see. And I suppose you will provide no more information than this? I thought not. No, because already you're kind of messing with Avedon's plans, so. We have the Kfar reward those who aid us. If you can uncover these traitors, you will be rewarded. Alright, sounds good. Hi, Janelle. How's it going? Anything new? Let's go through the lunch hall, and maybe there will be someone useful here. Thus far not. I know my one guy hangs out here, Shima. But he is not who I am looking for. Do I need to go downstairs? Hmm. Areas I can't access. Alright. Ooh. Couldn't get here before. Oh, and then this is to the next. Yeah, there we go. Alright, well. Let's fill out this part of the map, and then hit the podium while we're here. Tell me all about Calendaria. Oh, it's about Hulklanda. Well, that'll do too. So... Hulklanda, one of the five nations of the Pact, is the land of the folk. Centuries of warfare left Hulklanda with an understandably paranoid outlook. To them, there are the folk, good, loyal Hulklandans who can be trusted and valued, and the Outsiders, who are to be regarded with mistrust at best. Outsiders are, of course, anyone who's not of the Folk. Folkland in society is highly stratified. Every member of the Folk undergoes a rigorous period of testing mental, and, testing, mental and physical. The results of this trial determine that citizen's unalterable life path. The talented child of a peasant farmer might become a lord, but he will stay a lord for life. Families in Hoklanda are tightly knit clans, and ties of blood demand unquestionable support in any conflict. But at the same time, members of the same army, wing of the bureaucracy, or other social unit are also supposed to stand together against outsiders. These two obligations can frequently come into conflict. To manage, it, manage divided loyalties, Hoklandans have a dizzying web of customs, etiquette, and rules of warfare. 
the countless laws that govern Hulkland in life, many unwritten, some even unspoken, are frequently impenetrable to outsiders, and sometimes to the folk as well. Hoaglanda's membership in the Pact is not without difficulties. For example, in the Black Age, Hoaglanda took the Baraza Woods from Calendario. It is now a disputed territory. Some Hoaglandans would rather destroy the Pact than lose this land. Because the woods are that important, or it's just more... The point of the thing. They don't want something taken away from them if they consider it as theirs, no matter what it is. I wonder. Okay, so we could go there. We will go there, but not right now. Well, look around a bit first. What's over here that we couldn't access before? Another courtyard? Anyone in the middle? No. So this isn't going to take us to our quest guy, because he was somewhere that we were already able to access, but it's a new place, so we need to look at it. Of a big place too. It goes deeper than I would have thought. Nothing really out here, huh? Oh well. Well, so anyhow. Maybe I do need to go downstairs. Let's go downstairs. Hmm, do we want to talk to Envoy Brasila? We did go through her room. Uh, she only has work for me if I travel to the Barraza Woods. Well, I might- I could probably get close to it, right? I'm going somewhat that way. Alright, very well. Anyone in here? Hobby's chambers? No, I don't care about that. Let me talk to him. Who's this? Falma. Ooh, it is locked. Use lockpicks, it would use all of them. Let's not for now. Okay, this was Brasilla, right? Yeah, I don't need to mess with that. Anyone over here? Meet a tall, swarthy woman, well over six feet tall and heavily muscled. Lightness is not important to her. She quickly brushes past you. Yeah, we caught you at this before. Get over here. And I tracked you down before, too. And you were all suspicious. He's from Tehran. We talked to, we talked to him. Uh, maybe I should go bust into her room. I'm thinking about it. She's awfully suspicious. Okay, that's just him. Who else is up here? I thought I saw a green dot. Ugh, just a worker. Let's go break into her room. an irresponsible use of all of my lockpicks, but I'm curious. And she might have run right off to it when I, she caught me listening to their conversation. But, yeah, let's get in there. So, what you got going on in here? This cabinet contains some of the possessions of Envoy Valma, one of the many diplomats that come to Avedon from the Pact in the Farlands. There are clothes, daggers, bits of armor, and some sheets of paper. 
The papers contain diagrams and scribbles in a foreign tongue, nothing you can understand. Then, remembering that you saw Valna acting oddly in the Hall of Statues, you look more closely. There's nothing odd in the box, but beneath it you find a crumpled note. It reads, I feel we are always being watched. If I am to tell you of Avedon, we must find a better place to meet, and I must be paid more. Ooh! Adnus, you are betraying us, aren't you? This is something to definitely take to Miranda. What do we got over here? Book about Svorgold. Okay, we will look at that in just a second. Oh, well, okay. What's she got hanging out here? Steel dagger. And I... I should not just steal it from her. Window. Just in case. Her stuff can stay. Okay. So then. Svorgald, you say? Svorgald is one of the Far Lands, a rocky and cold island off the southeast corner of Linnaeus. The known lands have seen many proud warrior cultures throughout written history, but few have been as fervent and single-minded as that bred by the remote crags of Svorgald. The people of Svorgald are pirates and raiders. Only the ships of Zaram can sail farther or faster. Hmm, and that's who she's conspiring with. And when the sails of Svorgald are visible on the horizon, only suffering can follow them. Their custom, for over a thousand years, has been that a youngling of Svorgald cannot truly be a man until the blood of an outsider is on his blade. Thus, it is unfortunate for them that the Midlands Pact has brought their raiding days to an end. Their attacks invited retribution from the warriors of Zaram and the Kva harsh enough to give pause to the Vic. Now the only thing the mainland serves from Svorgald is tribute. Fine ships, mainly. Receives from Svorgald, that is. If I could read properly, my goodness. No raids meant no victories, and no victories meant no slain enemies and no full men. And thus the culture of Svorgald suffered a dreadful shock, which it has not dealt well with. Well, I mean... I can't feel too much sympathy. You have to kill somebody to be considered a man? It's pretty crappy. Their violent natures turned within. Young warriors attained their manhood using the blood of their own people. It's really self-destructive, guys. This state of affairs, of course, suited the pact very well. But all of the Vic are told, almost from birth, the tales of the old days. And they all dream, even in the midst of their self-made nightmare, of the day that they can raid the soft peoples of the pact once again. Wonderful. And now you're conspiring, huh? Yeah, I'm totally gonna tattle on you. Straight to Miranda. When I figure out how to go upstairs. Where's the stairs? Over this way. Okay. Where's she at? She's in this big hall. No, that's Callan. Stop, 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 stop. Miranda is... near quarters. Da -da 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 okay. Which door is Miranda? She... Here? Oh. Greetings, Polis. Anything new? No, we're good. Okay. Miranda! No, I need to- I need to tell you! Dang it. Do I need to track down those two? I didn't get, like, a quest or something about it, but it was obviously suspicious something going on. Hmm. Okay. Quest log, do you have any idea where I can find this guy? Where is he? Yeah. So, I, I just need to find him is what I need to do. And I'm really bad at that. Bummer. Okay, she also said we should talk to the quartermaster and the craftmaster, so we can accomplish that at any rate. Alright, Smith Duman. I do have something I want to sell. You can have... Do I want to give him the Deadeye chain now? I think... 
Maybe I do if I put it in here. Let's hang on to it just in case, though. You can have all this stuff. That's fine. Okay. What do you have for sale? I want everything. Um, I don't know. Do I actually want any of this? Might not. I don't think I do, actually. Hmm. I already have that. Whoops, 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 whoops. That was not what I meant to click on. Okay, uh, let's look at your supplies. I would like... How many lockpicks? That's what I'd really like. It's not looking like you do. Bummer. Okay. Scarabs? Spine shield. Teleport? Mmm, teleport. Yeah, teleport. And I think that's it. Thank you. Okay, so I can use two. Heal self is pretty good. 5% to hit chance. I mean, it does seem pretty good considering I'm throwing stuff all over the place at my enemies, but I would really like that. I want you to do this stuff. There we go. Okay. You know, I should probably buy some for my other team members too. Do I want evasion on Sevlin as well? I might, since he's the one taking all the damage. That's probably a good idea. Or I could increase his strength and endurance. That seems better. This scarab costs a lot of money. It's a lot of money. But am I using my money for anything? No. And I do. He is my main tank, so it's probably a good idea to invest that in him. Let's do it. All right. I'm good. I just want to equip this. Droop. There you go. Much nicer. So then. So we're using this emerald saber. 32 to 96. This is 35 to 105. So it does better damage. 20% to melee versus 10. Although this one, he has poison resistance and acid resistance with the emerald saber, which is pretty good. Um, Oh no, but he's using a shield, so we can't use it. I think we want to keep the shield. Alright, we're good as we are. It'll do. Now then. To the crafts master. What you working on over here, Nicodemus? Alright, so do you have something for me for my next mission? I'm so happy that you asked. He claps his hands and a wincing assistant brings you a pouch. Feel something moving inside. You open it and find a bunch of rat tails. They're still moving, writhing and twitching. Some of them still have bits of gore attached. Oh, don't make that face. Those tails are infused with the life energy of entire rats. Great. In battle, take a handful out and throw it onto the floor and you will have an army at your disposal. Okay, that is kind of cool. And that reminds me, sometime you may wish to ask me about enchanting your equipment. Yeah? All right, tell me about enchanting my equipment. I would be happy to. There exist crystals that are infused with raw magical energy. On the right sort of anvil, like this one, he nods at his anvil, you can transfer that energy into a weapon or piece of armor, infusing it with power. He points to the east. I will have an assistant unlock one of my storerooms. There is such a crystal in there. You may use it. Oh, well, thanks. So how do I use it? Place the piece of armor or weapon on this anvil. Place the crystal on the item. Smash the crystal. The magic of the anvil will bind the loose powder in power into the equipment. Just like that, eh? Alright, uh, any limitations I should know about? Well, the crystal power is inherently raw and unstable. You can only place the power of one crystal in any item. 
And once the item has been infused with power, that power is there to stay. Cannot be removed or replaced. Alright, that makes sense. Uh, that sounds good, thanks. Okay, so you've unlocked something nearby. Where do we think it could be? One of these rooms? Let's try it. Ooh. Ah, it's this, isn't it? Closer. Uh huh. That one's still locked, though. And then this one's gonna be locked as well, I'm guessing. Yep. But that's fine. No need to be greedy. We can enchant stuff now. That's pretty exciting. So let's go have a look see. Okay, first, I need to look at everybody's inventory and make sure I have all the- yeah, I'm gonna take that from you for now. Did not mean to give it to her. And anybody else holding on to anything I want? No? We're good. Okay. Let's take all of these together. So, we've got, makes a weapon more likely to hit and an armor provide more protection. It's pretty good. That's the blessed rune stone. I got two of those. Okay. Emerald. Physical attacks do more damage. Armor provides more protection from physical attacks. Battle. Magical attacks do more damage and armor provides more magical defense. Cancers. Curses are more effective. And armor, more protection from curses, acid, and poison. And then this is a battle again, so let's... Here we go. So, what do I want to do here? Better armor. Is that what I want, or do I want my weapon to hit? I don't like when I miss, so I could put it on there, but probably maybe better armor. Although this one already... My Greaves? Let's enchant my Greaves. Alright, so they were at 8%. And we gained 1%. That's not that exciting, but that's okay. Okay, we should probably use the rest for something cooler. Um, hmm. Okay. Magical attack. No, I want physical damage. And I mean, he's already. Like, can we even? Can we add anything to this? It's got a lot going on already. All right. Works for me. And then what else do we have? More protection. Which I should probably... I should put it on Sevelyn, but you know, Natalie takes some hits too. Let's see if we can give her a little more protection. She seems to draw hate from the monsters. Okay. Just add it to her student's robe. I don't know, I kind of like it on like the gloves or something. Fancy gloves. Sure. Or... No. I don't think it's going to be that impressive, but... Yeah, just one. But it'll do. Alright, well, we're slightly better equipped than we were. That's cool. Oh, and also let's look at this thing he gave me. Where's this bundle of rat tails? Um. Where is this bundle of rat tails? This was something I found, right? Yeah. And I can't equip this, so... Oh, what? Did I want to see if she could? Let me try it. Okay. Bundle of rat tails. There it is. Beautiful. Let's give that to Natalie. Alright, now Natalie. You can't equip this... I oh, because minimum strength requirements. That's why. We are just not strong enough. How much do I care? We might want to just sell it. We'll worry about it later. 
Okay, so at this point then. I need to find this guy is what I really need to do. I also want to go to Chimeria. Let's just go to Chimeria real quick because we can and because we can always pop back here too. I just want to see it. Take me right there. Fine. We'll just have a look at the land. We'll see if anyone's waiting there to greet us. I'm kind of expecting there will be now. There should be like some sort of Abaddon way station right on the other side of this portal, right? Also speaking, I've got the... Is my scarab only active in battle or can I use it now? Oh, there it is. Teleport to target space. I need to do that. Well, we're here now, so... Away we go. Right out here in the wilderness, eh? You emerge from the pylon, stumbling and gagging. The journey's getting no less wrenching as time passes. When your vision returns, you see that the pylon is in the middle of a clearing in a forest. Cool wind blows through the trees, a nice change from the burning wastes of the Kva. However, this pylon is very different. It is neglected. Leaves are strewn throughout the clearing, and the arrival platform is covered with moss. Also, some derogatory and obscene messages have been crudely painted on the pylon. It provides a helpful reminder. You are in Chimeria of the Far Lands, not only enemy lands, but prowled by some sort of vicious monster. Care will be required. This seems like not the task that you would put a newbie hand on. I don't know. I'm I'm wondering what Miranda's motives were in sending me on this quest. Oh, we have some people right up here. You emerge from the pathway and surprise two young Chimerians, tribesmen practicing with wooden spears. When you emerge, they stop fighting and their jaws drop. It has been years since anyone new walked down this pathway. You watch each other awkwardly for several long seconds, then they finally remember what they should do. They run toward their village, shouting, Avedon! Avedon! Yeah, alright, I'm, I'm coming to help. Coming to help, guys, it's cool. You don't have to be nervous. You enter the village of Dorfstead. It is a series of wooden domes, each occupied by one of the families that make up the tribe, a traditional settlement of the sort that exists in multitudes all over Camaria and the Wild Realm. Your welcome is not warm. The people here reacted quickly to news of your arrival, some hid in their homes. You see them peeking nervously out through the doors. Others are in the streets, carrying out their business. They pretend to be unconcerned, but cast nervous glances at you whenever they think themselves unobserved. So honestly, not that different from Goldcrag. They're probably just more openly afraid of us here. In Goldcrag, um, they have kind of the veneer of believing that Avedon is supposed to be in place to help them, but these guys don't even have that. They have no reason to trust us whatsoever. Alright, well, let's set about looking around. Hmm. Okay, so here's one of our borders already. Or, no, it's not. It looked like it was, but it wasn't. It was just the shadow of an area I've not been to yet. Well, I don't want to go quite over here yet. Let's stick back to the sort of starting area, especially since it looks like we've got a village here. So, we'll go around the edges of it. Someone threw out a blessing crystal. Hmm. While I do wonder what's in the building, oh, it's the shaman's hall. We'll look. We'll work on the edges first. <laughs> Interesting. Hmm. 
Okay, well, I'm definitely curious. But I should probably leave it alone for the moment. I should probably talk to people in town first, because maybe there will be some kind of quest. Like we had in Goldcrag. There's monsters in there. Please go kill them. All right. If we don't get such a quest, we're going to go down there just to go down there. But oh, The building at the east end of the village is made of stone. If anything separates the Wild Room from Camaria, it is this land's love of buildings made of rock. This is the workshop of the village's stone crafter. Wagons bring huge lumps of raw stone, which are then chipped down into bricks and sent to make forts and fortifications. This is Dorlstad's bastion of modern modernity. Well, I like stone buildings too. There's nothing like backwards about stone buildings. They're pretty. Leave us, outsider. What's wrong, hon? Come here. Come here. I want to talk to you. I'll never help you. You can talk to me right now. Although Camaria and the Wild Room value hunting greatly, raising crops is still very important. Fields here are worked by several farmers. One of them, older and more scarred than the rest, is tying a blade to his belt. He looks at you defiantly. You are treading on my fields, Avedon. I am Han, and I am watching you. All right. So you're a farmer, eh? I am, but before that, I was a hunter, and I won three trophies of honor. And if I need to, I will fight. Both you and those who brought you here. Dude, settle down. I'm here to help. Also, what's a trophy of honor? Our best trophies, the arms and armor, are passed down from warrior to warrior. I won my sword for slaying the mung rats of the swampy reaches. I will use it to defend Dorostead. Okay, then use it to fight the monster. That's fine. So, why'd you quit hunting? Age. Wanting to leave prey to the wall- the wait. 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 Oh, prey to the- wait. I will tell you nothing. About anything. No, I'm gonna totally trick you into talking to me, buddy. So, you'll fight those who brought me here, huh? Someone told you to come here. When we find out who drew the gaze of Avedon to us, we will make sure to make them pay. She was just looking for help for our village. For stories, to be believed. Uh, I got another question. The farmer Han watches you closely. His sword is old, but it is dangerous enough in a skilled hand. One thing you learned in your training, everyone is dangerous. So, why are you so hostile? You ask that of a Farlander. You rule us. You crush us. When we succeed at trade, your thieves come in to take our wealth. And now you come to our town, armed and ready to kill. I I'm here to kill a monster. He pats his blade. This is a trophy of honor. If I have to, I will use it to defend our town. I mean your town no harm. This is true. But at the same time, you're... You're of the Outlands, and I've been taught that you guys are always trying to come in and mess with us. Not that we're messing with you. And so... I mean, I was talking about this before. I don't want to be mean and strict with people, but I think I need to. I am here representing Avedon. And he did just accuse us of of being thieves. So, okay. Ugh, we're gonna have to take a nasty attitude with him. I think it's important. We're representatives of Avedon, and so we have an obligation to Avedon, Avedon rules by fear. That's what we've learned thus far. So, I think when we're dealing with our own peoples, I can... We, we want... The goal is also that Avedon rules justly. And so I'll try to be just with them. But if we're dealing with outsiders, I can't let them sense any kind of weakness in the hands of Abaddon, or they might see that as encouragement to attack us. So, watch your tongue, old man. I'm from Abaddon. He nods. I understand. I will not oppose you. Not until you come back to destroy our home. He turns and walks away across his field. Yeah, I wasn't- I'm not destroying your anything. Get over here. We're done- we're not done talking. So, uh, I've been sent here by Abaddon. I can't do anything about that, and I won't help you, no matter what. Uh, not even to help with the shadowy beast that's stalking you? Because that's why I'm here, buddy. That stops him for a moment. But then he says, Not even then, Pact Warrior. Your coming here can bring no good. None. Alright. That's probably all I got. Yeah. Well, so long then. Stay off my crops. He's so cranky. Okay, so this little flag is marking the edge of the village, right? The edge of the region. No, I don't want to leave. But he's an interesting character. And he has a name. So, oh, here's another region border. So he's not just generic citizen. Maybe he'll have a quest for us eventually. 
Like if we, maybe it'll be, it'll be an after quest, like we had some quests after we killed it, or after we um, killed all the wretches and helped out the dragon. Maybe if we kill the shadow monster, then he'll trust us enough to ask us to help him with something. Stone block, no, that can stay right there in the garbage. Camarian keep, huh? We have a big fancy building over here. Alright, we'll come back to that. I don't want to cross bridges just yet. What are you guys doing? Hunters, huh? Alright, all right, hang on. They already passed by. We'll just keep along the edges. Howdy, folks. How's it going over here? All right, you have just generic names, so I think we can probably ignore you. What is this? Trading post. Okay, and then we're back to this bridge. All right, then. I think I'll go ahead and wind the episode down here. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back in next time. You know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to go back to Aladon, and off screen, I'm going to find our guy... Who was looking for Canel? Fabron, Fabron, however you want to say his name. I'm going to find him so we can tell him what's going on with Cornell and possibly finish up that quest. And then after that, I think we'll come back here and we'll continue exploring around the town, talk to people, get a feel for the lay of the land and what's going on here, and then eventually see about this shadowy beast.